This is the truth why Israel was created. Why the Israelis almost treated like dogs. And there can never be genuine peace in that region until justice is done. They were driven out, many of them, including women and children, were killed in 1948 war and so on. Fled out of fear, panic. More than 50% youth are unemployed. Terrible poverty. Why are you punishing the poor Palestinians? They did not, they were not responsible for persecution of Jews or Holocaust. Truth is that Israel was created because a huge amount of oil reserves were discovered. Armed outposts had to be created in that region, which is the state of Israel. Arabs were persecuted who were living in Palestine for what was done by Europeans. I want to talk about the conflict uh, between Israel and Hamas. Many people are blaming Hamas for having first attacked Israel. Uh, but they don't see the historical background. You see, you must, to go into depth, you have to see the historical background. First of all, you must know that 90% of this area, this Palestine area, uh, before the state of Israel was created, was inhabited by Arabs. Today only 20% is inhabited by Arabs. Where have those 70% gone? So 70% who were living in what is today the state of Israel. They were driven out, many of them, including women and children, were killed in 1948 war and so on. And many driven out, uh, fled out of fear, panic. And they are living even till today in places like Gaza, West Bank, Jordan, Lebanon, in horrible conditions. In Gaza, you know, it's a very congested, small strip of land, but more than 50% youth are unemployed. There's ter terrible poverty, lack of proper electricity, water, food, and so on. And what is Israel? Why was Israel created? Why was Palestine partitioned? Because Palestine belonged to the British. Then after the Second World War, Britain handed it over to the United Nations. Who partitioned it? They created the state of Israel, Jewish state, and an Arab state, which was Jordan. Why was this Israel created? People say, oh, the Jews were persecuted by Nazis, and so they had to be given a homeland, you know. Well, if they had been persecuted by Nazis, the Nazis were Germans, and um, the other, there were other countries of Europe which collaborated with the Nazis in persecuting Jews. So you punish the Europeans for what was done to the Jews, the Holocaust and all. Why are you punishing the poor Palestinians? They did not, they were not responsible for persecution of Jews or Holocaust. But the fact is that the Arabs were persecuted who were living in Palestine for what was done by Europeans. And the truth is that Israel was created because a huge amount of oil reserves were discovered in the first half of the 20th century in that area, Middle East area. And that oil was necessary for Western industry which were growing. So to ensure the safety and security of the oil supplies from that region to the Western industries, uh, a Western military garrison or armed outpost had to be created in that region, which is the state of Israel. Every citizen is also a soldier, They're given training. And all the <coughs> weapons, heavy weapons which Israel has are all supplied by Western countries. It is nothing but uh, a Western military outpost planted in that Arab land <coughs> to con control the Middle East oil. This is the truth why Israel was created. Not that suddenly Jews in Europe <coughs> started <coughs> remembering the land of their ancestors which they had left 2000 years ago and so on. That is all sentimental nonsense. The real reason was how to create the, uh, how to control the Middle East oil. Now see, you have done that, you have driven out the 
Arab, but they are those Arabs are living in horrible conditions, and there can never be genuine peace in that region until justice is done. And the way to do justice, the only solution is to create a secular, united Palestine, which combines uh, the present states of Israel, Jordan, West Bank, Lebanon, Gaza. All should be combined, secular state, democratic state, uh, where all people, Jews, Arabs, Christians, and all can live peacefully, harmoniously, amicably. That is the only way. Otherwise, you will never have peace in that region. And the present, uh, uh, what has happened in in, uh, in that area is was an explosion of long pending grievances over decades of how the these Arabs were you know, kicked around by the Israelis, almost treated like dogs. This is the harsh and bitter truth. You can't uh, kick around people for very long. They will retaliate. And this is what has happened. I am not uh, justifying any killing of babies or children. I don't know. See, it, it is said that in war, truth is the first casualty. We don't know exactly what has happened. So many things are said. The Westerners are giving one side of the picture. The, the uh, other side is being given by Muslim states and other underdeveloped countries, other people that it is Israelis who are to blame. See, I don't want to get into all that because we don't know exactly what is what has happened, but this much is sure that uh, there has been great injustice to the uh, Palestinian Arabs who were driven out of their homes, many massacred. You can read all those accounts in uh, on Google and on so many books about what happened. What is called Nakba? It's like the Exodus. Nak uh, I think the word used in Nak Nakba N A K B. I just check up. That how they were driven, the Arab, Palestinian Arabs were driven out of their homes, hundreds of thousands, and they are living in horrible conditions. Even now, their their grandchildren, they're living in horrible conditions. So unless you have justice, you will not have peace. So uh, we conclude here. Uh, please uh, subscribe and. Uh, uh, Please give your comments. I'm eagerly uh, wishing to hear from you. You are free to criticize me, but politely. I never mind polite criticism. Please feel free to criticize me if you don't agree to anything which I have said. Maybe about something I have said was not correct. I'm a human being. I also make mistakes. And if you give me logical arguments to convince me that I was wrong, well, I'll be happy to hear that and I may change my views. I have an open mind. So please feel free to uh, criticize me if you wish to. And uh, the Kaju team will engage with you. Uh, see you all and thank you uh, for coming here. Thank you.